Hi Pisces, welcome to your August 2023 Life Sector Tarot Reading with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Pisces, this is for you. Remember they're general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so i'm going to give these a good shuffle for your actions and interactions or should i say your actions and plans for the month of august of 2023 if you can believe it we have the or ten of swords okay with the hierophant card okay and the Page of Wands. So for a select few of you, it looks like you're trying to break out of some kind of contract here. Um, now, another way that this potentially shows up as well, for a lot of you, this could be something that you are either very deeply invested in or a creative project that gets kind of hijacked or, or um, yeah, like hijacked by either like an authority figure or somebody in a position of power. Now, in terms of your plans, wherever it is that you're having to apply for, uh, apply, maybe you're applying for a job, maybe you're applying for a visa, anything that you're having to apply for a, um, like an official document of some sort, I will say you may probably end up needing to rope in a legal professional. If this is something that you're planning to do on your own, I'm just going to tell you straight up, don't do it. It's not the wisest choice at the moment. This could also be that you are breaking ties for a select few of you. Maybe you are breaking ties with a larger institution. For some of you, this could be a job. For others, it could be a side hustle. Maybe this is a client that you're firing. Yes, that is a possibility. I'm always kind of um, perplexed. Like I have obviously a lot of conversations with business owners and I've had people say to me, like I say to them, like you can fire clients, you know that, right? And they're like, what? What do you mean? It's like, yeah, like you don't just be, so it's so like with me, I read tarot, my services are open to everybody, you know, providing they're over a certain age and, you know, they have compass mentis basically. But um, no, I'm not obliged to read for anybody. In fact, there have been several clients that I've literally sent refunds to and said to them, I'm sorry, but I can't read for you. I had one lady who it was like an awful experience for me to read for her. Uh, and I remember she tried to book another reading after and I was like, no, I'm really sorry, but I don't want to work with you anymore. Yes, it's not easy to have those conversations, but you don't, you're not obliged to offer your services to anyone. All right, let's just get that clear. For your uh, work and relate, uh, yeah, uh, 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 career and communications, you've got the Knight of Cups. So when one door closes, another one opens. You have the world card and you have the moon card, which is your card, right? Because the moon card is Pisces. I find this interesting for a few reasons. If you are employed by somebody else, if you're looking for work, if you are open to the idea, there is a possibility that a job or a job opportunity could open up for you in either a very different community and for a select few of you potentially abroad. This could be an international opportunity that wakes... Uh, that, uh, an international opportunity that shapes up for you in some way, shape or form. Um, now, when it comes to your, uh, oh gosh, come on brain. When it comes to your, um, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could be the offer to gain some kind of work experience, knowledge, wisdom, insight, and it was probably not going to pay. It won't be lucrative for you, but the knowledge that you gain from this, especially from a community that is older and wiser than you, could be absolutely invaluable for your path and your future. If you are employed by somebody else, this suggests that there is a shift or a change in the work-based culture in some regard that's going back to somewhat more traditional values. This I actually think could be very good for you because it's going to provide more of a structure that you're looking for and it will really help you grow and flourish. Even though Pisces is a, a sign of boundary, boundary, it's a boundary less sign, right? Even though it doesn't necessarily have structure, it's a water sign and water signs do well within earth and energy because it gives that water form, right? That's the thing about water. It will take the shape of anything that it's held in. Earth is a container of some sort. So sometimes traditions and structure and rules can actually be very good for Piscean people. Now, with um, 
uh, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, uh, psh, look, this could literally just be a journey or some kind of travel that you're taking to a community that you are, uh, you know, maybe you're going back home, maybe you're checking in with, uh, you know, you're going to visit parents, etc. Uh, this could even be that you're going to visit the place that you, you grew up in. Um, this is a literal trip for a lot of you down memory lane. Uh, I think I mentioned business owners. Um, if not, you'll have to remind me. Uh, well, you can't because I'll be done by then. <laughs> All right, so for your love and relations, you've got the King of Wands. You've got the Lovers card. Oh, man. With the Justice card. So this is real commitment. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, you could literally here be finding a way for you and your partner to really become more clear about what you are. So for those of you that are in new relationships, this could see you really clearly defining what your relationship is or isn't, as the case might be. And you could be really vocal and demonstrative about this. For a select few of you, this is some kind of engagement that's going on, but it is gonna be very public. So you might find that you go out with your significant other and you're talking and all the rest of it, and all of a sudden they're on one knee proposing. That could be absolutely beautiful if you're already married. This does suggest that you are looking at how you can cement the relationship in a, a very tangible way, i.e. purchasing a property together, starting a business together, maybe doing something that feels like it marks a special occasion together. For those of you that are single, it looks like you're connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all very possible. There's a lot of air here, because the lovers is Gemini and the justice card is Libra. And so, you know, you've got air and you've got fire. This is a very active dating life. There's a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of dates going on over the course of this month, which is really exciting. And it looks like there are options, but, Whoever it is that you guys are settling on, you're settling on a fire sign person in some way, shape or form. And for your money and materials, you've got the five of pentacles. Okay, so not the easiest card with the eight of wands and the ace of pentacles. So, you know, they say you've got to speculate to accumulate. You've got to get, give a little to get a lot. This is very much that. It could also be that a family member or somebody in your world or your circle is hitting you up for cash. Now, I am going to say there are this this is going to be a month of two halves when it comes to your finances Pisces. It looks like you do have some challenges at the beginning of the month. But as you get into the wards to the end of the month, you see where not only are your finances improving but actually uh, by doing some form of a good deed financially or maybe even drawing a solid boundary when it comes to your finances, you then actually start to flourish. There's potentially a new job on the horizon, new job, new work, new business. Whatever you're breaking ties with with these cards, you are getting it all back once we get into